snapped her. Snapped it right off. Guess that's the way I'll do the other one as well. Might as well. Get her nice and hot and then let her snap. It is off, so I guess that's one good thing. Now just gotta get these three stainless out of here. They should be nice and easy and they're small and they should zip right out. And I'll leave that bracket on because I'll probably use it again maybe and then bang this thing off because who knows how hard it's gonna be to come off there. Yeah, they're not too bad actually. Sweet. Alright. So I know you're not supposed to assume anything, but I assume since these are stainless, it should come out pretty easy. Yep. Yep. Throwing everything into this boot box right, for right now, at least. Not that one. Came right out. Perfect. There's that hot as hell. Where's that? Little persuasion. There it is without the fender. Lots more room to get into the deep parts, like down in here and get some of that rust off, you know. I have to get a new cross member for here. I think we have one out back though. So I'm gonna pop this fender off now because that made the biggest difference in the world. All right, let's get at it. As my dad would say, it's like a dog fucking football. take these mud flap hangers off right now too which I should do but we'll see they're probably gonna have to be cut off so I would like to take the bumper off too so I get to the front of the engine very well with the power washer but it's getting hot in here I still have a lot of power washing to do although I'm gonna have to power wash it like 20 times <laughs> but yeah maybe I'll try and pop these off real quick and uh Get this off and zip tie it to that thing. Make it all nice and neat and clean. Here, come together. As Twin Stick Garage would say, little by little. <laughs> Very true. I feel your pain, brother. So I got this hammered onto here because these bolts are so rusty here. But the bottom two are just holding this, and then the other top two are holding the mud flap brackets. So I don't know if they're going to snap, if they're going to fall off, or I'm going to have to cut them off. But, well.
<laughs> Just like that. That'll probably be a lot of the bolts on this stack. But that's the way she goes. I guess while we're at it on this side, I might as well see if this one at the top snaps. I might have to, I don't know. I probably won't even be able to get on there. I rounded her off pretty good. Hmm. Well, that sucks. Well, I guess we try cutting one off. See what I can do. I've never done this before. Might as well get good at it now. First time I've ever cut a bolt off. Learning, learning, learning. That's what the whole point of this is. Huh, you're gonna have to learn how to get that off. <laughs> Perfect. So we got that off and out. Obviously I had to cut that one off. That one snapped off, so they both kind of stuck in there. These two, I might just leave for now. And then since these were screwed, I'm just gonna hit like that. Cut that there, and then pull up on it, that there. Do the same to this side, and then those will be off, because they're not really good to anybody, so let's throw them in the garbage. Coming along. So this definitely won't be the right way to do this. Now we're wide open back here. Let me get that out of there another day. With a little more work. Way easier access at everything. Those mud flaps were ugly and need to be changed anyway. Look at those. They're pretty much screwed. I was gonna take this off as well, but I wanna unplug everything and label everything right. All right, now we're gonna try and get this catwalk off. Very sketchy way to do it, I don't recommend. Definitely not getting any worse as I go through it, so happy, happy to hear that. I'm gonna take this whole layer off somehow. This is paint, yeah. 2004 
This side's pretty much already off. It just needs a little chipped away, whatnot. Probably take those out, whatever the hell they are for. Yeah, let's clean things up as we go. It's a good coat, paint on her. Make everything new that needs to be new again. But yeah, no, it's pretty straight and pretty clean, really, for 2004. Not really been painted or touched up ever, really, I don't think. So that's what I'm here for. Make trucks great again. Get some of this stuff off of there with the power washer and sandblast and stuff if we need to. But Fuck yeah. I'm happy with it. I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. Nothing's perfect. Especially for the price we got it for, right? Gotta remember, we didn't spend a whole whack load of money on it, that's for sure. So